This is my Bagheera V22. I've already made a number of changes to this amp, but what I want to explore in this video is that guy right there. That is the reverb board. It normally lives underneath the motherboard, but what I did is made a little adapter so I can access the board while I'm also able to use the amp. And the reason I'm doing this is because I noticed that when you've got the uh, master level pretty much pegged, and you're listening at a fairly low, or playing with a fairly low clean level, uh, there's just some really nasty uh, digital artifacts, or digital sounding artifacts. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's a, uh, a fix for this. So I, it's going to be really hard for me to demonstrate to you what I was hearing with the guitar, but I think I can show you using uh, sine waves. So. What I've done is I've set up a 700 hertz sine wave going into the uh, clean channel of the amp. And um, no reverb, I'm going to bring the master level up. So that's a rather sine wave. It's a rather uh, sine wave looking waveform. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring the level back up and then I'm going to uh, put the reverb on max and uh, you will see a difference. So, um, what does that mean? Well, the uh, amplitude modulation that you're seeing is probably due to the fact that the reverb algorithm that they're using isn't time independent, which itself is not disconcerting because Lexicon's been doing that for a gazillion years to very, very good effect. Uh, what is disconcerting though, which you may not be able to hear at all, is the, uh, all the low frequency garbage. Here we go again. So again, I'm really not sure you can hear that. Uh, lest you think that that is just some dithering uh, in, the, in the conversion or the reverb algorithm, if it is dithering, they didn't do a very good job of it uh, because it modulates with the level. Here, I'm going to turn this back up and then uh, modulate the input level, and uh, you might be able to hear that that low-frequency garbage cuts out and then comes back in. And I'm sure that's really, really, really hard to demonstrate, but uh, it modulates. Uh, it doesn't go away completely, but that uh, level right about oh, there, it comes on strong. And it seems to remain, after that point, independent of level. So it seems to remain independent of level once it really kicks on. And that's got me thinking that this is... Uh, something having to do with limit cycles in the reverb algorithm. And if that's the case, then uh, I think no amount of tweaking is going to fix this. So alternatives. The board uses the Cool Audio V1000 uh, digital effects chip, which has on it a number of different reverb algorithms. So might be worthwhile trying out one of the other algorithms to do that. I'm going to have to reverse engineer the board and figure out where the uh, configuration for the particular effect that there, it's configured to use is and hope that it can be reconfigured to use something else. Uh, another option is to replace it with a different effects processor board. Yet another option is just to replace it with a real analog spring. Stay tuned. <laughs> 